What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do a fun little video comparing Conmodo from Performance Samples and Vista as well for, uh, for from Performance Samples. And so um, if you are not aware, both of these libraries are legato only string libraries, but they do have quite differing approaches. So um, Jasper is a string sampling enthusiast, which is perfect for a lot of us in the VI community. Um, and so he, a lot of the experiments he kind of releases are basically intended as such. A lot of them are, you know, experiments in scripting and experiments in workflow and, and precision and things like that. And so it's really awesome to kind of get a, an insight into his personal process. And he's very transparent about the different techniques he uses to put his libraries together. And so today we're going to compare two of the libraries that are quite similar, Komodo and Vista. Again, taking a quick look at the sales pages, you can see they're both legato only libraries, but Conmodo, while it's more kind of all purpose and it, uh, it has more of a bow change legato, Vista is much more hyper romantic. So it's really meant for those soaring lines. And it also has a slurred legato. So that it kind of borders on portamento, which is much more useful for those certain em emphatic climactic moments where you really want that hit of emotion. Conmodo, on the other hand, doesn't quite have those same uh, you know, emotional highs, but it's a lot more neutral. So it's more applicable to a variety of situations. So what we'll do is take a look at the violins, compare those. We'll take a look at the violas, cellos, and basses. And for the violins, it's actually a pretty fair comparison, I think, because there's Komodo violins A and violins B, and Vista has their five violins patch as well as a three violins overlay patch as well. So that's really cool. So let's kind of start with the violins A. I'm going to go to the violins B in Komodo as well, and then we'll hit Vista and see the differences. So let's start with Komodo violins A. All right, so that was violence A and violence B. They both have pretty similar signatures. Um, and so, yeah, it, you can hear it's a little bit more neutral. It definitely has a nice romantic uh, vibrato, but this on the other hand, let's have a quick listen here. So we're gonna start with the five violins patch. All right, so there we go. A lot more passionate, a lot more vibrato, a lot more intensity overall as well. So that's what I mean when I say it's really meant for those hyper romantic FFF sort of moments where you really want that big melodic line to come through. Vista is kind of meant for that. And again, those legato transitions, again, 
are super prevalent as well. You can really hear the slur between the notes, which is kind of cool. So different purposes, um, but very complimentary in many regards. So let's move on to the violas now. I'm going to talk a little bit less. So here's the Komodo violas. Here we go. So the violas definitely have a more similar timbre, I think, when you compare both libraries A and B. Um, but yeah, generally, I think the main difference here that is th that I'm hearing at least is that Komodo violas feel a tad more detailed and a little bit more, uh, yeah, a little bit more exposed, I guess. And the Vista ones feel a bit more smooth, a little more playable, I guess. But yeah, the vibrato is not quite as heavy as the violin section. I'll just put it that way, um, at least for the viola part. Maybe it's also I didn't really trigger the highest uh, modulation, you know, in the in the mod wheel there. But anyway, let's hear the cellos. Let's start, start with Komodo. So. All right, lovely. And Vista only has three cellos, so it does sound a little bit smaller of a section than Komodo. Also, Vista has a, a, a Rebo sample, I believe. So I press the pedal down, I re-trigger the same note, and it gave that to me. Komodo, I believe, does not. So uh, that's one thing to be aware of. And uh, also for uh, the violin section, it's amazing how big the five violins patch actually sounds. I don't know exactly what Jasper did, but um, it, it really has that big expansive sort of symphonic quality to it. And I can't really put my finger on why, but it, it sounds huge, <laughs> way bigger than the Komodo equivalent. So anyway, last but not least, let's hear the basses. So there we go. Um, ultimately, the differences are quite negligible, but overall, it's it's a, it's it's mainly in the aesthetic. So Komodo is a bit more neutral, a little bit less hyper romantic, right? Vista really soars up there and is aimed for that big romantic quality. 
and also the, the the legato transitions are different as well. Vista is more slurred, so you really hear those transitions a bit more, whereas Komodo is more bow change legato, and so you definitely feel the the separation, I guess you could say, or the transitions um, a little bit more there as well. But I think that in part is what makes Vista feel a little bit more playable as well, because the the, the legato transi transitions are so buttery smooth, transitioning from one note to another, slurring, right? So you definitely get more of that that buttery sort of playable feeling in Vista. But again, both libraries I feel are pretty complementary to each other. Uh, one doesn't replace the other, but again, they are kind of similar enough that you, if you can only choose one, um, and you choose one over the other, then you can't really go wrong. You won't really make a wrong choice there. But again, for multiple purposes, if you want something that gives you that that workhorse legato library, then Komodo I think would suit your bill. But if you want something that really has that searing high end with the, the passionate vibrato, then Vista will be the, the better choice there. So that's the main differences there, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea between both libraries, hearing them side by side. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, if you want to download my sample library buyer's guide, it has all my personal recommendations that I use on a regular basis. I've categorized them into all the different orchestral sections, plus other ones like piano and libraries, jazz libraries, and others. Um, it's, it's super fun to put together, and uh, I want to give you two totally free as a gift for checking out this video today. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one, and take care. Bye-bye.